What's happened in my business, friends? This week I got to hang with my buddy John, who's an awesome entrepreneur and business owner, and I really wanted to share the conversations that we had with you. John owns two awesome companies, Late Night Chauffeurs and Quick Rides. Basically, both of these companies help people get home safe and avoid drinking and driving. So I really have a lot of respect for John and what he's built. John's created an amazing app and is delivering convenience to customers all across Long Island. I chose a really cool place to film this video. It's actually a place called Dublin Deck in Patchogue, New York, and is a place where a lot of John's customers actually utilize his app. And if you watch closely, you might actually see some members of my team at National playing volleyball. I always mention as a business owner, you need to keep changing and innovating. Well, in this video, we switched up the style and we're doing things a little bit differently. I think you're gonna love it, so check it out. Hey, what's up, John? How are you? How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you, man. How's everything? Everything's great. How are you? Doing awesome. So thanks for tuning in to uh, Grow by Joe. I have John Jenske here, um, who is one of the owners and co-founders of Late Night Chauffeurs. Really awesome service. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I've used it before. I recommend everyone to use it if they're going out. Mm -hmm. What is Late Night Chauffeur? Yeah, so Late Night Chauffeurs is a designated driving service. And we specialize in driving people home in their own car. What's really cool, I love about you know, your service is you can go out with your own car. Maybe you want to do date night. Maybe you're doing a business thing. You're coming right. from work and you're going to a, a dinner meeting. Exactly. Or maybe you just wind up being out, you know, with your vehicle and you're like, you know, oh shit, I had a few too many drinks. Exactly. Yep. Um, I, I, I can't drive. Exactly. But now you got your car there. Two drivers come, one comes, drives your car home with you exactly. in it. Exactly. Yep. And then the other guy meets you at the house. So he drops you off in your car and the driver gets picked up and everyone goes their separate ways and you're home safe. Exactly. So for a perfect example, we're right here at Dublin Deck right now. Ex yep, uh, beautiful place. You know, beautiful yep. place, beautiful night. They got the volleyball nets out. So this would be like the ideal place for someone to use y your services. Sure, yeah. Dublin Deck has been great to us in the past. They have our signs up everywhere. People are very aware of it when they come here and then we'll get home safe. So what sparked the concept uh, you know, you know, for Late Night Chauffeur? Yeah. Great question. So we saw the concept from a company in Napa Valley. And what they did was they folded up a scooter and put it in the back of your car. Oh, wow. So, and they drop you off just like scooter home. Scooter home. All right. so, <laughs> That's great. So as many people in Long Island, New York know, is you can't get from North Shore to South Shore of Long Island on in a scooter. scooter. <laughs> you can, but it might not you, you be You can, so but it'll take you very long as well. <laughs> so we decided to have someone follow. My business partner and I always wanted to work for ourselves and get out there and, and, and prove ourselves. And thought the idea was great. And we kind of ran with it. You're just like me. I like to have my own car. I like to be able to yeah, go. It's nice to go out in want. your right. own car, and if you got a nice car or something like right. that, or you want to exactly. start the night out, like going out with your date or your wife sure. or you know whatever. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, and what's cool is we take reservations, so you book in advance. So I think it's awesome that you can use it to go to the Hamptons, to go to the city, to go yep. to the wineries, exactly. yep. um, to go just out and about and yep. be in your own car. Exactly. And then even we were talking, it's really cool. Like yeah. if something like an you know an elderly person. You can have, you know, your grandma and grandpa picked up to yeah. go to like a medical procedure sure. in their yeah. own car or even just shopping or something like that. Exactly. So it's really a big, really cool need that you can fill there Absolutely. and be in your own car. Absolutely. For example, we have we have a customer that is a salesman in Manhattan and we meet him at his house, going to the city and we make stop, 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 stop as all his customers. Oh, that's he comes great. home, takes and him out to work in the home. car. Works in the car on the whole way there and the whole way back. That's a home run. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome, man. Yeah. Really good stuff. Thank you. As we all know, owning a business isn't easy. Mm -hmm. And what would you say your biggest challenge is that you've had, you know, in getting your business started that you've had to overcome? Sure. And what's yeah. a lesson that you could share with, you know, other fellow business owners that might be watching Grow by Joe? Yeah, it's, it's a great question. The beginning is the hardest, and so it's, it's the most fun. Looking back at it, yeah. it's, it's, you know, we it's didn't really, we didn't really, feeling right. We didn't really know exactly what we were doing. <laughs> we didn't really know. We said we're just going to get as many people home as possible. So if you have a purpose, follow that purpose yeah. and everything else guides you through it. Staff is the most important by far. Um, taking care of the people that work for you, um, creating a full, fun culture and you know, growing internally first before you grow externally. Yeah, that's really important. Anything you could think of has a, now has a process 
um, and it grows. It's, it's not going to be perfect the first time or the second time or the third time, but it's going to continue to grow. And you know, I think too, you got happy, if you have happy drivers, the customers are happy. Exactly. You've also put a lot of focus and effort, time, money yep. into building your app. Yep. Which mm -hmm. has made you know another level of structure. Yep. Because exactly. now it's easier to just go right in the app, click, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which makes it easier in the office. Right. Um, so you're really you're really focusing a lot of really great areas, and even since I've been using Late Night Show for now, you know, for a while, mm -hmm. um, and since you've rolled out rolled out the app, I mean, I can just see the progress of everything exactly. evolving, you know. And, and it's not always gonna go perfect. It's not always gonna. <laughs> no? It's gonna take time to perfect it. It's gonna take time. It's not always gonna be very easy. It's not always. You always. A lot of people see the good side, but there's a lot of work that goes on the be, on the back end that brings you to where you are today, and it's it's always constantly growing. Like everyone says, you got to just keep grinding through and keep changing, really, right. with the time. Yeah, and evolving and yep. changing. Yep. Take you kind of people. start. You know, I think you know you start with this whole idea and concept, mm -hmm. and I think a lot of people get hung up because things change, mm -hmm. and you had this idea of and you want it to be this way, right. but you got to really go with that flow. I think in business, and it's very important. I think about how when I got started, mm -hmm. like what our idea and concept and the way we did things mm -hmm. is. It's so different from today. One hundred percent. Yeah. One hundred percent. It's. And if we didn't change, we'd be dead. <laughs> it's true. It's true. It's true. And you wouldn't be in business either. Yeah. It's. It's, yeah, that's it's right. super important. I think as you as you grow and get older, you realize that sales are very important, but how you get to those sales is even more important. So taking care of your people, restructuring, rechanging things. You know, you might get to a plateau, but once you make that shift, take a little loss, and you take another step forward. Yeah. So it's sometimes taking a step back to go forward is most important. Got to take three steps back to go ten forward. It's true. It's so important. True. So John, for all the the business owner viewers out there, yeah. you know yep. what what um anything that you'd recommend resources books, um, yeah, you know sure. that you know that's you know kind of helped you along the I way. I know the one book that you got me on, is the, <laughs> e, the E Myth Revisited. That's it's a great. Fantastic book. I've I've told 10, 20 people to read it. That's it's great. Game changer. It's awesome. Uh, the Grow by Joe channel is tremendous. <laughs> Thank you, man. The YouTube videos, if you're not following it, follow it. Um, Appreciate that. You really, you really hit everything, and, and what you say is, is tremendous. And you know, it's authentic, it's real, and knowing you, I know, comes from a good place. Thank you, John. It was really great to, uh, to come down here tonight. Yep. I just want to let you know, I ordered a late night chauffeur. Uh, so we'll have some drinks. Let's have a drink. Um, it's actually my birthday tonight. Uh, happy so birthday. We'll definitely have a drink for my birthday, and I'll be taking a late night show for home, um, uh, courtesy of John. <laughs> Joe, thank you. Thank you. And uh, thanks for tuning in to Grow by Joe. We are going to go grab a drink now, and I'll have to be taking my late night show for home later. Thank you. Oh, oh God. Let's go right to the bar. Yeah, nice. <laughs> <laughs>